Hello and welcome to this edition of I Use This App. In today's review, we're going over a free app called Bee Leader. I have it installed for us already, so let's open it up and jump right in. Bee Leader by Flightless is a clever game where you'll play as a bee who flies all over the world to hover over flowers and collect their nectar. There's five different worlds where each of them have three hives. You can play the first hive in each world right off the bat, but to move to the second or third, you're going to have to have a decent score first. There's no in-app purchases, and iTunes describes the app saying, Bee Leader, it's busy time. The bees need you. Become a bee leader and help the bees fill the hives with honey. With that in mind, let's jump into the gameplay. I'll walk us through some hands-on gameplay here within Bee Leader, so we'll jump into Hive A and hit play. There's about 25,000 different species of bees in the world, and we're up. We use our directional pad to fly. Catch as many points as we can here, get as much honey as we can. The controls are very, very touchy. I want to look out for lightning. Fly along and see what we can get here. We got that honey. Move along. Get all this nectar here. Good job. You can see our little bee there giving us lots of compliments. Woohoo! Nice. Fly along here. Be careful for that bird. And we've got more honey. Be careful for this bird here. We lost some nectar. And we're gaining it back. Be careful for the storm clouds. And we're in the hive. Get some more nectar here. Ooh, careful for that storm cloud. Very touchy controls. We're doing pretty good here. More nectar. Lots of honey. Don't want to forget these flowers. Fly up here. Careful for that bird. Oh, hit the storm cloud, but we've still got a nice following here as the bee leader. And we hit the hive. Keep going from here, collect more. Go right back into the hive, we get a bonus. And that basically covers the gameplay. So let's jump into the wrap up. I'm gonna give Bee Leader a six out of 10 stars. There's two big downfalls. One of them is the limited number of levels. There's only 16 and you have to have certain scores to move on. The other is the controls. They're terrible. If you fly all over the place with just lightly touching your finger across the screen, you'll be ramming into the ground or flying past whatever it was you're trying to land on. These controls need some major work. Other than that, it's a pretty crafty idea. What did you think about it? Let us know. This concludes this edition of I Use This App. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on all our videos and we'll see you in the next review.